figuring out those pieces, who's going to step in, who's going to step up. So I think they've been tinkering around with the lineup and figuring those parts out. But as we've seen in the past, they turn it around, and I have no doubts they will again. And oftentimes for Texas, as you know, also just an embarrassment of riches. Taking on LSU, Maravich Assembly Center as Bailey Ortega, the transfer from Iowa, 6'5'9 graduate, goes back to serve and we're underway. Best three out of five sets. And immediately off the left side and then back to back for the University of Texas. There is Emma Halter, the outstanding libero for Texas in the off-color jersey back to serve. Dug by Halter, an absolute rocket by Robinson. And that ball through and off the edge of the block, and LSU good hunt. And Maddie Skinner have an awful lot in common. They have tremendous all-around volleyball skills. And served out of bounds by Halter. Texas started the season as the preseason number one team. Here is Robinson out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. And uh, Nicole told us all about her outstanding numbers so far on the season. Good out of the back row as well, and she demands the ball, working on Skinner down the sideline. In the 27th meeting all time between these two teams, Texas has dominated the series. Good in serve reception. Mariana Singletary off the outstretched lot about Texas, her third year back at her alma mater. More on the coaches in a moment. Very, very good friends. Jay Demps. Over the Texas block, an associate head coach on the staff of Jared Elliott at Texas into the NCAA tournament last year for the first time since 2017, did not make the field in 2023. Good block deflection. Halter with the overdig cannot make that completely, Nicole. I think Emma Halter is an elite libero after being a DS for a couple of seasons and not likely to miss those. That ball served just out of bounds. You're going to see some misses, I think, from LSU. They're going to have to put as much pressure as possible on the reception of the Texas Longhorns. There is Skinner. She will play the back row in one rotation because she's such a dynamic server. As I say that, of course, the announcers curse and misses that one. That's well long. Staying on. So Texas has played a 6-2 over the last three matches after losing at Stanford. And so we talked to Jared Elliott yesterday, and he did not let the cat out of the bag that he talent for Texas and lots of options. Sometimes it makes a coach's life easy and specialist on now for Texas. Tied at five. Shank pass. Ortega cannot track that one down. National champion, including back-to-backs. Nebraska last year. Regional every year since 2005. That's the amazing stipion. Piles is blocked. Beautiful block out of them. That was number 44, Devin Kahawai, six foot four junior into the lineup out of Kailua, Hawaii, who actually got most of that stuff. And a good response out of the middle. Anything that Ellis. Yeah, I think that's going to be a key for them as well because we all know the ball's going outside of Journey Robinson, but if they can... The superstar on the beach from LSU. Here's Ka'awa. Robinson dug down the line, but out of bounds. Very explosive off the left side. There for the dig, but it is just too hard to handle. Avery Carlson there, one-on-one. -on -one. Very nice selection that time by Ortega. Good pancake, good hustle by Demps, and again, rocket arm off the edge of the block. Great transition there for LSU. Get the spatula down there on a Sunday, some syrup on the pancakes. <laughs> Jenna Wenis, both outsides for Texas, and I'll give you the numbers, struggled the other night at Texas A&M. That was on Friday again before that record-setting crowd. Nice dig by Allie Kirkhoff. The 5 6 freshman playing at the lead borough position, and Robinson misses that ball out of side hitters for Texas. That's not going to get it done. No, they definitely need to flip that around, but Texas AM was putting up a solid block from what I could see and getting some good runs. Yeah, Texas AM did a nice job. 14 blocks in that contest. Good hustle by Akana to keep the ball alive. LSU in one, looking for the tie. Dug down the line. 
That's Avery Carlson. Ella Swindle actually hanging in. So we saw the softer one from her, and that's one thing Coach Johnson said is, I'm trying to tell her is you can't just bang everything here. We're in the SEC. These are the top blocks, top teams' defenses. You've got to have some tools in your toolbox. And she's really added to that. Working on Skinner. Ball touched out of the middle against Ames. Jay Demps going off speed. Good read. And that ball missed out of bounds. Avery Skinner misses that one. Very well is leading the SEC. She ran a 6-2 for LSU last season before transferring to go over to the Aggies. Skinner, good swing off the net and down the line. Can't be controlled by LSU. In a nice how good she is. She will find it and score. Well, I've said it before. Here is Halter. I'll finish the thought in a moment after this point. And the short serve, nicely done. Tech bar for Texas as they take the 11-10 lead. And Halter has become a real threat from the service line. Almost an ace per set. Nice dig by Reagan Rutherford, number 10 in burnt orange, playing out on the right side. The trend. They're going to have to do exactly that tonight against Texas and these pin hitters because we know that they're lethal from both sides of the pin. Robinson has already taken seven swings out of the 16 for LSU. Rutherford into the cross court, the lefty. Very nicely done. First kill for number 10. The transfer from Baylor. Former Big 12 freshman of the year. Robinson out of the back row. Beautifully done. Kahawai is dug into the cross court. Free ball coming to the long ones. Crushed out of the middle. He's right at your disposal, and especially with that nice passing. Right side to Demps. Has that ball blocked, the Texas block. Athletic, quick, starting to enforce their will. Right side to Kaawai, and just as I say that, good. Close that block off. There is Jones. Young middle blocker back to serve. Again, this is a very, very young LSU team. That is a horrific set. That ball well out of bounds. Journey Robinson, just 2 of 12 offensively. Missouri was really good the other night in Baton Rouge, winning that three sets to none over LSU. Piles, did she catch a piece of the sideline? Did not. Just out of rank number eight. Put her down yet. Here is Maddie Skinner, had 46 aces last year. Not going with the jump serve, at least so far. Here is Piles off the outside, able to stick that ball right inside. Single Terry, and that's what you're gonna have to do because Texas puts up a solid block. Here is Demps, the transfer from Wisconsin. Like Maddie Skinner, a national champion, but she doesn't have three, she only has one. Only, if you will. Robinson calling for the ball. That ball thrown down out of the middle. Angela is guessing on the block. Akana on. Piles again. Can't get that past the vice of there. That was a big break for Texas. Ball served out of bounds. What are your thoughts? I agree. I think it goes on. We'll see that consistency rise. Well, now the first referee has set the, set the marker. We know what's going right. to be called. You just want it to be consistent. Kaawai, number 44 in Burn Orange down the line. Peanut, good vision on the ball. Very, very talented. The junior out of Kailua, Hawaii, finally getting her opportunity. A serve. And we were talking. She's gotten more consistent on that right side that we just saw the last attack. On the sideline for her as an assistant coach as well. Key moment for LSU to get back in this opening set. Got a side out right here. What a dig by Halter. That's what she is capable of and a better block. Beautiful river and cutting off that sharp angle. Perfect example of handwork by the 6'2 sophomore. Left side back to Wenis. Chance for LSU. Robinson going off speed. Wenis again. Good block touches by LSU. Dug again by Holter. Not only dug, but right on target. And that's going to be four contacts. Good effort by both teams. Holter. Team. 
already with four digs, leading the defensive effort for the Texas Longhorns. When it's going off speed, man, that ball cannot go. On that one to pick up. Well, Texas gets away with one, and here is Wenis. Working on Dimps, pretty good in reception. And off the top of the block and out of bounds. That one, my hands of the block, and you know it full well, Nicole, from your playing on the beach at the Olympics and indoors at Minnesota. You just got to hit high hands. Thrown down that time by Maddie Skinner for the score. And LSU is at 52%. So I'd like to see LSU kind of pick up their serving game a little bit tougher if you want to get Texas out of system. Yeah, that's a good point. So in serve reception, seven out of 10 times, Texas is scoring to earn a point. Their overall point scoring is. Working on Skinner down the line. Rutherford, very smart shot going high hands. Medium, which means average, a medium reception team in the 5-1. We'll get more into the difference between 5-1 and 6-2 as the match goes along. Robinson once again. <laughs> Celebrate. You know, Journey Robinson has really worked hard to improve her all around. She's a six rotation outside hitter. People at home, watch her when she passes the ball, holds her platform. She has really, really become an expert receiver and defender as well. Jay Demps off the right side. The tip falls. And LSU, probably not behind mind you now on Jim. That's sixth best in the SEC. And for years under Coach Elliott, Texas has always been among the top five, not only in the conference, but in the entire country in hitting efficiency. Trying to work on Skinner, and that ball missed long. So now five set points. Dempse is blocked. Good cover that time by Kirkhoff. Off speed. Nicely done. Good vision that time. And has taken 15 of their 34 swings. Out of the middle nicely and comfortably to the floor for Mariana Singletary and the opening set.